Albert, seller presentation call, October 19th with Smathers. What, what's the after repaired value? Um, we used, I think, 178,000 in our calculation. 178. Okay. So our cash offer is about 101. Okay. And uh, I like to look for our lowest offer. That's that's good enough. 178. Okay. All right. Actually, we did use 173, but it's within a few thousand. It's yeah. not a big difference. Okay. Now the next one I'm looking at is 244 with 15,000 down. It's got 100 right. a month and 15,000 down using my money. So that's the cash now, and it's 244 on a 15-year plan. So that's the most cash down. Then we have one with uh, 240 a month and 10,000 for different numbers of years. That's 252 at the top. All right. So that's cash now and cash flow. And then we have the same cash. Uh, this is a duplicate. Throw that away. All right. And then we have uh, no money down. 750 a month, and we got different years, so that's um, that's price and cash flow. 750 a month would, would be the most we could give them per month. Then we have the uh, 500 a month oh. at uh, 278 with no money down, and that would be price. All right. Okay. And then got the new money. Okay, so that's what I got. Um, okay. Now, this is Sam, and is this what type of property is this? This is a residential house in a nice neighborhood with a pool and two car garage, and he lives there right now. You want some more background on him? Uh, yeah, he lives there now. Yeah. He's, he's actually, he's, I don't know exactly his age, but he's in his 70s and he's alone. His wife died. I don't know. I didn't ask him if he has any kids, but they never came up in conversation. And so he says he's tired of living in this house. He wants to move out and get something smaller. And um, he is an investor. He's got 18 properties. And I actually called him on one of his other smaller properties, which is also free and clear. But when I discussed the possibility of doing owner financing. He said, no, 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 that won't work for that property because he wants cash out of that property to buy himself another house. But why don't I make an offer on his own residence? So that's what we're talking about now. So he's, he, he knows about owner financing. He's done it before, and I think he's receptive to it because I told him that's how I make offers. And he said, well, why don't you make an offer on my residence? So I think he's expecting that. Okay. Um, I don't know if that supports us to to – you know, all sellers uh, expect cash, right? Right. And uh, it's always good to kind of build some rapport, build some value. Uh, I, you know, uh, demonstrate that we understand his position, right? His needs, and then say, okay, let me show you how I can get you the most for the house, right? Right. So, and the number that he has in his head, he says he wants at least two hundred twenty thousand for the house. That's a number that he's stuck on. So okay. he's working around that number. All right. Is that what he thinks it's worth? That's what he says he wants to sell for no less than that. Okay. One of the questions I like to ask is, what do you think it's worth? Yeah. Um. And. So if he thinks it's worth two one seventy eight, for example, and he wants two twenty, that's good to know, you know. Yeah. Um, but I don't. We I usually don't talk to a seller about terms until I'm presenting offers. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. You know, if it comes up in conversation, you can handle it gracefully that way. Um, yeah. But there's uh. You know, you called on that other house and you already discounted it already and you haven't even made an offer yet. Yeah. <laughs> he has no idea what we can do on it, right? Right. But on this one, he'll get an idea and then we can tell him, and by the way, you know, we can get you top dollar on the other properties. 
Right. So if he's he's the minimal to what we have to say, then we can pick up his other properties one or two at a time after this. Yeah. But this so, is his biggest property, so I think this is a good one to start with. All right. And so this house, I understand that he's looking to downsize. It's what he says. Who knows? <laughs> okay. And then um, do you think he likes managing the other properties? He doesn't like it. Eventually he wants out of it. Okay. All right. And what does he do? Is he retired? He's retired. He just manages these properties now for a living. Oh, so he spends his time managing the properties? Yeah. Okay. And what's the condition of this, his house? His house looks like an old guy has been living there for many years. It needs some fix-up, but it can be done fairly easily. How much are we planning on the fix-up? 5000 Okay. And, uh, all right. And what what else do you know about him? Um, that he used to do all these things, and they used to travel all over the world with his wife, but sometime in the last few years his wife died, so he doesn't have long-term plans anymore. He just wants to relax now and downsize and do less. Okay. I think he's tired. And you, and you met with him? Yes, we walked through the house. Okay. How's your rapport? Pretty good, I think. Okay. We were laughing and joking and pointing out things and making suggestions and stuff. It worked well. Okay. All righty. And uh, what, anything else I should know about him? Not off the top of my head. Okay. <clears throat> what time do you have? I have 11.12. Okay. How's your uh, lead flow? It's good. I, I mailed out, I think it's been three weeks ago, and I'm working through them. I haven't even worked all of them through yet, and the phone still rang this morning, so there's still one or two coming in. How many calls? Did you mail the 1,000 cards? We emailed 1,000, and we got 30, 40 calls, and we had like six or seven properties that were worth following up on. Okay. That's good. Our goal is to get three or four, so six yeah. or seven is good. And so yeah. you got a lot of, but a lot of people were junk calls? Uh, well, they're not junk. They're just such small properties that there's not enough equity for us to get our, you know, money out of it from private money and stuff. So I put them lower on the priority list until I have a few bigger houses under the belt and I can go make offers to those guys. But the the bigger ones are nice. Some of them are duplexes and quadruplexes, which I'm a little unused to, so I'll look at those, but those weren't my first choices. Well, yeah, okay, well, let's take a look at all the free and clear. What's the low price range you're talking about? Some of these are like 30, 40, 50,000 little one-bedroom, one-bath places. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Um, and so next time we uh, pull your list, we can we can avoid those if we want. Yeah, we can clean up the list next time. Yeah. But we were working mainly with absentee owners, and I think we kind of use that list up now. So I think next time we'll go to owner occupants, and I think by definition we'll get bigger houses this time. Well, we can sort by price range too. We probably didn't yeah. knock out the low price range. Yeah. Okay. All right. You want to go ahead and see if. Uh, uh, All right. Let me see if I can. Put, let me see if I can put you on hold, and I'll go from there. Okay. And then, hey, by the way.